Well, that was a really clean fade. <clears throat> Hi. Oh, gosh, that's bright. What's happening? That's too much. Don't need to see me that much. Um, how are we? Haven't done this for a while. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I thought I'd do one, get back into the swing. I'll, um, take you through a bit of my journey. Let me just turn this down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> that's good. I'm glad. Um, I hosted a craft noon recently with some friends and I found some new fun transitions so I just wanted to show you. You ready? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> That's my new transition. Um, so, I don't know what we're doing tonight. Um, I asked on Instagram for people to suggest what I should do. Um, and I got some suggestions. Um, and I think the one I'm going to take is a uh, kangaroo. Someone just said kangaroo. I feel like I could draw a kangaroo and, um, hi Alan. Um, I'll draw a kangaroo. And, um, yeah, that's it. So last, last, uh, last stream, I think I was working on this artwork of Glenn. And, um, since then I've done a few bits and pieces, most notably this Sky Daddy. Uh, which obviously I didn't stream, <clears throat> but that's pretty cool. I'm really happy with that one. Also had a life drawing session that was themed around Keith Haring. It was really cool. Um, I did that artwork and some other fun. Oops, sorry. There's a cartoon penis. Look out. Don't know what you're going to get tonight. Um, also did this little turtle guy just for fun. And I was watching, um, Cruella and I tried to do something, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Um, something fashion-y. And I'm also working on these real life paintings. Actually, I'll go back to this camera. You might be able to see it better. <laughs> Sorry. It's exciting. It's balloons. Um, so I'm working on, I've got some canvas and some paint. I'm working on this one, which is another sort of alternate alternative sky daddy, younger version. And this one which I'm really, I'm happy with how it's going. I'm going to sort of okay, try some, some washes to, um, to bring it out. Good observation, Della. I'm glad you brought that up. It's almost like we, thanks Memo Base. Almost like I set you up to do that, but, um, I have been playing this game. So there's a rocket again. <laughs> Um, I have been playing this game on the Switch, uh, which has these really cool landscapes. I'll show you a few of them like this. I really want to do something, something like it. It's, it is a really cool game. Um, well, I don't, I don't know if it's everybody's cup of tea, but it just looks really pretty and the 
the landscapes and stuff are really um, simple but really beautiful. And the colour's really, really beautiful too. Oh, you nearly saw some nudes then. That was pretty, pretty lucky. <laughs> All right, so anyway, um, what are we doing tonight? What's the game? Oh, the game is called Sky. Children of um, the Light, I think. And the coolest, well, not the coolest thing, but one cool thing about it is that it's online. So you play with other people, just, you know, they're, they're in the world and stuff, but you can become friends with them and um, you can take each other's hands and fly around and uh, it's, it's really cute. And I've weirdly met some random people that are, that are probably 12 year old kids in Malaysia. Um, but um, it's just really cool. It's a really beautiful game. Uh, quite deep and poignant in the, the way it's told. But I don't want to give anything away. Um, anyway, tonight I'm going to draw a kangaroo. Um, okay, good. Is anyone else having trouble with YouTube? Not that I can do anything, but anyway. Um, kangaroos, all right. So I thought um, I've been doing a lot of landscapes and obviously clouds and all that sort of stuff. So I think I'd rather just do a character. So what I'm going to do is I've got my trusty app. Uh, so this app on the on the left of the screen is called Visref. Um, it's really cool for just chucking a bunch of stuff together. Um, and on the right is just Firefox. I'll um. Oh, good that it good that it's working. I'm just going to go to. Oh my goodness! I'm seeing all my um, search results. Um, now I'm distracted. <laughs> Pixels. It's one of my one of my favorites. Just got good quality photos. Uh, I'll just grab some kangaroo references. But maybe as we go, um, we can talk about what? Couldn't find anything for kang. Oh, I forgot. Kangaroo. Helps if you spell it right. Um, uh, so as we go, maybe. We can get, sorry, <laughs> just got some chips here. Um, I'll get some uh, input from you guys um, and maybe we can sort of create the character together. Um, so another good one is Unsplash. website for um, photos. Anyway, I'm just going to pick some kangaroos. Um, is anyone, oh thank you, is anyone doing some art with me tonight? Having a little um, body doubling or anything? Let me know. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a couple of people that like to do art while I'm faffing around and um, talking crap.
Yeah, well, I think if anyone could make an art out of eating ice cream, that's probably you, Della. Um, ooh, your CV, JC, that's cool. Ah, oh, that's a, that's an excuse. Actually, I wanted to put this question to all of you tonight. Um, oh, that's cute. That's like husband right there. <laughs> um, can you hear that? It's my neighbor. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Um, anyway, what I'm going to ask this question, what, what's stopping you making art or being creative? Maybe I'll write it down. Answer in your own time. This might turn into a therapy session. Hi, Mum. Welcome. I'm going to draw a kangaroo tonight, um, but he's going to be uh, more of a cartoony one in the end. Just wanted to get some references together. You have done some lately. Okay, follow up question. What? What was it that, um, what gets you back into art? What, um, sorry. Um, <laughs> Fear of stuffing it up. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll close that so we can read this. Right, so, um, so Della, obviously, it's hard to do drag in lockdown. Um, I imagine with less opportunities. Um, and a fear of stuffing it up. Interesting, Ellen. Oh, oh we've got a cute extra kangaroo photo. Okay, I'll chuck that in the mix. It's got a floppy ear. Oh. <laughs> I'm laughing at the photo. Yeah, I think um, there's something to be said about just diving on in and um, starting, which is kind of what I'm doing tonight. Um, easy access is also important. Crap. My glove. Excuse me.
No glove, no love. Remember? Oh, that's cute. Sorry for jumping around a bit. But yeah, I found um, recently I am um, music, yes. And I, I am similar, like I use art to deal with how I'm feeling or um, to express something. So I definitely get that kind of um, vibe. I am, um, so uh, the reason I stopped doing my streams was because mainly because I um, had hurt my wrist with some RSI, my arm I should say, and um, I actually just couldn't do it. But that actually made me more depressed because I wasn't actually processing any of this stuff with my art. Um, I kind of like this guy, he's kind of looking a bit serious, I might try and get his pose. Um, yeah, so I kind of stopped because of my arm and then I got, you know, more depressed and anxious and everything else. Um, so then I was just not doing it because I was feeling shit. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here, but um, Um, oh uh, yeah, so uh, I wasn't feeling good, <laughs> basically. And then um, recently, I think I shared it on the channel actually, but um, I was going through the process of getting uh, assessed for uh, ADHD. And I have since been diagnosed with ADHD and I am now getting medicated and well, I am medicated and treatment and it has actually changed my world. Um, I actually feel so much better and that is one of the main reasons I am feeling good enough to get back into this now. So, I don't know, I can I, I can totally understand when there's just this massive block that you can't sort of figure out how to get past. And obviously not, you know, not everyone can be just medicated. But I think, I do think just getting it, just doing it helps me. Um, not getting too bogged down in you know, making something amazing straight away. 
So it's an easy. I don't know about this. I might um. not really vibing with it. It's not um, sparking joy right now. Maybe I need um, yeah it's, it's a bit sad when your passion for art goes away. <laughs> But I know that, like, I've, what I've learned in the last 30 uh, nine years <laughs> is that um, I, um, I can overwork myself and burn out really easily. Like, as in not quickly, but I will fall into that pattern of just, like, going hard at things and... Um, even even now, getting into the like the real painting and stuff. Uh, the other night, I was like, I, I spent hours on a, on the painting, and I didn't even realize. And that, that's a you know that's an amazing thing. Like I love getting in that zone, um, but at the same time, I'm really learning to not get try to try to uh, cap that that hyper focus and um, not get myself burnt out too quickly. Oh, thanks, Mum. Because I think that's what I tend to do. I just sort of like get crazy into something, go hard, ignore my uh, my needs, my physical needs. Ah, oh, hi, Pug at Play. <laughs> uh, you know, I ignore my physical needs and I ignore my um, mental needs because I'm just so focused. And then I end up with like RSI and back pain and all this sort of stuff. Uh, anyway, back to the kangaroo, right? So I, I tried this kind of thing. I, I'm not really vibing with it. I think I need... Um, Maybe we could workshop, um, oh God, that's intense. Yeah, I mean, I used to do that. I used to do that with music and when I was creating music and stuff, I'd just like go hard and um, yeah, burn myself out, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, back to uh, Kangaroo. I'm sorry I'm jumping all over the place tonight. Um, maybe th can you throw out some adjectives? <laughs> it's alright. Um, throw out some adjectives like, um, happy, <laughs> crazy, um, quirky. Like if you would think of a quirky kangaroo, or a, um, I don't know, throw out some weird adjectives at me. Playful, that's good. I just need some juices, give me some juice. You got the juice. Playful, kinky, father. <laughs> All right, what if it's a, um, Uh, maybe they're, um, on their back. A kangaroo with ADHD. <laughs> Rambunctious.
resourceful. Okay, I'm. I'm just. I'm just sort of going with a, mi a mix of things that are just getting me started. But I think sort of like playful and kinky are, are good. <laughs> Um, how the hell does his tail work then? Sorry, I should have mentioned before that um, I don't want any uh, COVID talk or politics in the chat, please. <laughs> um, I just want to keep this as a uh, COVID free night. Happy, happy for you to talk about, um, you know, how you're coping with lockdown and stuff, but oh, that's good. Yeah, get it out. Get it out. I love it. What do we think of this guy? Is it worth keeping on going with him? I don't know, <laughs> I don't really know what he's doing. Um, I've been calling her Glad Rat Barbecue Chicken. I don't know, is this a bit weird? I think this is a bit weird. bit weirdly sexual or something. Maybe I'll make him more playful.
Maybe he's not on the ground and he's just um, jumped or something. Juggling with his feet. I like the idea of him doing something with his feet. Um, maybe he could be wearing something. He can be kicking down one of those kangaroo street signs. Oh yeah. All right, let me think about this. Got my new um, toy. Where is it? Here it is. Um, I got this as a birthday present. Yes, I was actually thinking about that. Maybe it's just a a low perspective. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So it's like he's jumping that way, kind of. And maybe we are in the, the grass. Right? grass is, but that's, that's grass. Just imagine that's grass. That's cute. Yeah, I like it. Ah, so anyway, um, I got this little um, handy device. It's essentially a number pad, but it's specifically made for the software that I use on the iPad. And it's Bluetooth. So I can actually control, like you'll see, if it connects. Uh, Bluetooth. Connected, cool. So that is the size of the brush. You can see just, uh, just, just here, <laughs> just here. That'll go up and down, see? So that's changing the size of, size of the brush with this. Um, this one here is the fart button. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I've got to rearrange my desk a little bit just so I can fit it on there. But the purpose of it is that 
there's some weird gestures that you need to do. Like to undo, you've got to tap with two fingers and on the iPad. Whereas this, I can literally just have my hand on it and just click undo. Um, it's even got all sorts of great little things. Oh, full screen. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> oh, I didn't know I could do that. Anyway. What if he's got some undies on? I don't know, some fun undies. Hang on, jumping over. Oh, is he a giant kangaroo? So you mean like if I have like trees going up like that? All right, I'm just going to worry about him for now. And um, figure out the background later. But I'm loving all the comments. Um, how do Y fronts work? I've got a Y in the front. And he's got a hole for his tail. <laughs> That's true. And maybe, maybe he is a little bit kinky. After all. <laughs> like, yeah, that, yep, yeah, that's your, um, flick in Australia. Um, switching gears a little bit, so the moustache, how do we feel about it? Because I've got to be honest, I'm getting a bit over it. Um... His tail looks weird. Like it should be coming out the, the back more, you mean? I don't know, that's not very specific feedback. Place now. Maybe, maybe it's not, maybe his tail's going back up. The tail's quite thick, you know. Like it's a big part of their their body. I think that's better. 
You're right. It did look weird. Alrighty, let's um love the mo, keep it. Longer and narrower. Everybody's got their opinions about this tail. Yeah, that's why I wanted it to be kind of thick. be a better shape, like a more dynamic. It's kind of got this weird S curve going on and I just want to accentuate that. I think I'm just going to go with it. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll get that the tail is um, receding into the distance once I do some shading, I think. Um, Lady Edwards could have a mowing beard. I don't really know what you mean. Anyway, let's let's start doing some. What's the time? Oh shit! Sorry for all the swears tonight, folks. Uh, what color should he be? Oh, sorry, I'm, did I miss something? Oh, okay, the Mo has got to go if I'm for Lady Edwards. Uh, I did do drag once, just not, not like on stage or anything. And I called myself Honey Jugs. But I'm not attached to that name. Yes. Um, anyway, I'm making I'm making the kangaroo pink, and you can't stop me. started because I used to have honey in my coffee and um, one of my favorite little coffee shops used to serve the coffee in, uh, the honey instead of putting it in they'd just give it to you on the side and they'd give it to you in this little jug and I called it the honey jugs <laughs> and then I thought that would be a good 
track name. Yellow undies. Sure, why not? I think I'm doing yellow undies. You might need to, um, really uh, wax wax up my my mo my, my mustache hey what if you what if you drag me up and I draw it at the same time <laughs> I'll do, um, a live stream of the whole thing. Okay, so, um, uh, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> sounds good. Um, what was I saying? Um, my train of thought. Oh yeah. I actually forget about curfew sometimes. Because I kind of like to go for night walks occasionally when there's not you know, locked down. Um, and sometimes I'm like, oh, I'll go for a walk later. And then I remember that um, there's a curfew. No, I like, oh, sad, sad. Um, okay, let me, and I was talking about something. Oh yeah, so painting. So obviously getting back into like actual painting um, has been fun, but also has allowed me to compare and understand what I've learned from uh, digital work and um, how they're similar, how they're different. And I have figured out some things that you might be interested in. Um, obviously digital is faster and you know, it allows you to be less, it means you can be more carefree um, and just go stick things on, change it later. You know, it's great. Highly recommend. But um, there's also parts of it that 
you know, teach you things and get you understanding your style and, um, and how it works. And I, I think, um, particularly around, uh, color, color use, um, I think I've learned a lot from digital because of that. Uh, obviously, you know, mixing colors with paint is, is a different experience, but you know, there's, a, you can essentially do the same thing. Like, um, you know, even though I just blended the crap out of that background really quickly, you can do that with paint. And, um, if you do want to change something, you can. Yeah, there's no undo button, but um, you can change things. It's not the end of the world if you do something wrong. You can wipe stuff off. You can go over it again. Um, I think in the past I have been, I don't know, scared of painting in a sense, like scared of um, putting stuff down, like, you know, getting past that, um, that stage of like, this is permanent kind of thing. Um, great question, Alan. I haven't had a lot of experience with oils. That's not because I don't want to, it's just because it's um, it feels a bit more expensive and um, maybe I'm scared of it <laughs> because because it's more expensive you know you've got to I feel like you've got to know what you're doing with oils so at the moment sorry I really need to I really need to uh, do some uh, nasal waxing. Um, <laughs> um, I've I've only hit the undo button once, and another time I tried to like rotate the canvas. So I tried to do that. It was just in a split second. So on the iPad, you know, you're drawing away. And if you want to undo, you, you tap the screen with two fingers. So you have to sort of go from that and do that. So I did that once on the painting <laughs> by accident. Yeah. Um, it's interesting about the oils because I kind of would like to, to try them now because, um, especially with this one, I don't know if you can see, but I was having so much fun with the clouds and, and making them really, like, really globbing on the paint. You can see the clouds are really thick and blobby. Um, oh, Mimo Base, tell me, tell me about uh, oils. Like, what's, what are you... What do you love about them? Um, do you have a particular way to use them? Talk to me, talk to me, Goose. I 
think something... Yeah, there's something nice about the process. Oh, that's interesting. Do you have any trouble with them, um, you know, going together? Obviously being, you know, a different base. Right. That makes sense. Yeah, right. Interesting. I'm going to do... I don't know, you tell me. What's what's he seen? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I might put this on actually.
Um, something that I take have taken over to painting from doing digital work is my use of color and I quite like to uh, move away from like if I'm doing a, a color base on <laughs> Oh, you mean an actual headache? Sorry. Sorry, I was thinking. I think I was thinking like it, just a headache, as in like oh, I hate using it because it's annoying or something. Ah, oh, so there's environmental issues with um, oils, are there? Great. Oh, I was thinking for, I don't know, maybe next week or something, I'd do um, an artwork with uh, Copics. Like I'll do a uh, something in my sketchbook. Would, would people be interested in that? Um, just something a bit different um, and, you know, Gets me away from the iPad a bit more. Not that I'm against it, but. Cool. I'll do that. I feel like uh, I don't want to do a painting during a stream because like that'll take too long. I want something you know a bit more concise that can fit into an hour to think about what to do. So I guess uh, you watch the topics. So for reference, anybody who's not aware, um, I have like a little pouch of copic canvas, and um, I, when I first started um, doing illustration more recently I am um, there's some good examples I was doing more oh that's awful um, cartoony kind of stuff with copics and ink and 
Uh, yeah, so we could do something fun together. I'll show you how I um, trace stuff and use. Uh, I've got this special little reflective thing that I use to, to trace things. <laughs> I also use my iPad sometimes because because you can essentially use your iPad just as a um, light box, but you can put an image in there and then trace over it. Not perfect, but it, it works quite well. Um, and really, you just need enough to get you started, right? Does he look too evil with his love heart eyes? It does it, they don't look hearty enough, do they? bit more of a smile. Alright, let's do that. Let's um, actually push his cheek up. That's always a good way to make characters feel like they're more smiley. is to actually, you know, put an arc under there. Because it's like the... Maybe, maybe he shouldn't be doing the ooh. I don't want him doing it too... So something um, <laughs> um, something that's really annoying me that I I've started doing because of my mo is um, I can I can just feel sorry I need to fix that um, I can feel it just sort of like tickling my lips. So I keep doing this and I do it unconsciously because I'm sort of feeling it on my bottom lip and it's actually hurting my jaw like I'm, I'm not realizing that I'm doing it and then suddenly I'm like ah ow like <sighs> why 
Why, Brain? Why would you forsake me so? Jerk. Maybe his tongue should come back. I can sit the his chops. Oh, he doesn't like it. But does that mean I'm doing a good job? Good, good. Also good, good pup, right? Protecting the family. How are we going for time? I shouldn't, um, I shouldn't spend forever on this, but I do like to get things finished in the time allotted, as we all know. Right? Right. It's going to be a bit rough for a minute. I 
Let's uh, quickly add some clouds. This is a weird perspective. I haven't really done much like this. Oh, I should have this. Should I have the sun? Yeah, the sun um, behind him somewhere. Let's do. I'm very. Thank you all for coming. I could, that's a lot of you. I really appreciate it. Um, and hopefully we can do some more, right? What am I doing? Just clutching my pearls. <laughs> Honey pearls? That sounds like it would be a good addition to a bubble tea. Honey pearls. Can you make that, Jason? Please? When you make your bubble tea?
<laughs> Honey pills, like it. I wonder if I can switch off the line layer. Oh, he's a bit raggedy, but he's still kind of cute. Maybe I'll just do some um, blades of grass. Like honey, I shrunk the kids. I haven't seen that in years. Maybe that'll be a good one for movie night. Is it on Disney? these but it's getting late. I'm gonna turn into a pumpkin soon. I'm washing it myself for shrinking it. Um, uh, last but not least Thank you.
<laughs> I'd watch that. All right, let's clean up a little bit. And I think I just want to add some shadows from like his paw there and his body. Oh, I'm doing it. Really got to stop that. Stop it. It doesn't look like a stain, does it? No. I think it's a little bit cluttered with the grass and the clouds, uh, but maybe I could just do that. A little better that way. that way. Shadows are wrong. Oh well, who cares.
not 100% happy with his tongue. What do you think he's looking at? Whoops. All right, his tail's a bit whack. Let me just uh, sign it and then we'll do a replay, shall we? Blur the grass. Not motion blur. No, I'll leave it. It's kind of stylized. Okay, uh, I think that's all I want to do. I might just clean that bit up. His tail is a bit weird. Oh, one more thing. I, I, w I was wanting to... No, not private, just normal. Problems, overlays. Let's use this one. Oh, and maybe I'll just do a little trick. Uh, no, Makes him a bit shimmery and looks kind of like he's moving. Cute. All right, let's um export the playback. Oof, sitting for too long. Um. How's everybody else gone? Has, has anyone else been doing some some art while they've been watching? Sorry, JL, I didn't use your reference. All right, playback. So here we are. We started with um, a bit of an angry roo. Bit too bit too realistic, I think. I was trying to do something different. And then we got to Mr. Playful. <laughs> slash kinky. Slash I don't know what I'm doing.
I still like the idea of the tail going up, but obviously needs a bit of um, context or reason for it, I think. Kinky Roo. I know that feeling. I've gotten dizzy from scrolling through fonts before. Like, just trying to look for the right one and just sort of being going, uh, and all these fonts going past. Just like, makes your eyes go funny. Um, so something I've learned that I carry across to my painting stuff is um, using different colors for the shading. So I like to, I, I kind of did it here, like I used pink base for his fur. That's the end, that's him. I used a pink base for his fur and then moved the shadows to a bit more of a purple. I did that because I felt like the 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 world is kind of blue and purple is closer to blue than pink. Um, and also, I mean, that, I think a general trick with shading yellow is not to just darken the yellow. I just, I never, never looks good to me. Um, it immediately looks muddy. So that's why I went sort of more towards the oranges for the shadows of the, the blue. Oh. So, oh, sorry. Hope you hope you fix it, Ellen. Um, yeah, and that's something that, that I think you can do in um, real painting quite easily. Really, like you just mix in a color that's off to the side and use that instead of instead of black um yeah anyway um that's that's me that's that's the end um i hope you've enjoyed it um i had fun um and um i'll see you next week for another one um a uh, Copic marker one. Markers and pens and pencils. Sound good? Yeah, Steve. Sounds great. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll see you all soon. Stay safe. Balloons!